Okay, so I've tried focusing my camera like 500 times on products and it does not work. I don't even know if, I think I'm in focus at least, I don't even know. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to prime my face with the Mario Badescu or whatever it's called, water. It feels so nice. This is the uh, one with aloe, herb, and rose water, so it's the pink. Um, let that dry down a bit. And I'm going to use my Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. So I use this one and it's shade 122, but it's like 500 times too dark for me. So I have LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation in white. So all I do is I dump some on the back of my hand. Ooh. Because it's so dark for me, I take my LA Girl and I put like a pump and a half of it because I need to like dilute it, but I can't use the light version of this foundation because it's got like a pinky undertone and it looks really stupid. So I use the orangey kind of yellow one and then I just what like use white and make it my color because you got to do what you got to do. Okay, it's all mixed on the back of my hand. It's pretty good color. I just wipe it off with whatever I mixed it with. And I'm going to take, I got a new Real Techniques sponge. Um, I think I'm just going to use the flat side. So I'm just going to take this and just pounce it in. And yes, there is white on my face because it didn't fully mix in, but that's okay. Okay, face is blended. Just going to wipe off the stuff on my hand. So what I'm going to do is I take, I actually figured out, so I have the Shape Tape Concealer, but I like ran out pretty much of it. And then I was sitting here the other day and I was thinking, there was a pool of it on the bottom, but the thing doesn't go as far. So I've kept it like this for the past like few days. So all of it's pooled right here. So all I have to do is when I take it out, I just have to swirl the thing around and I have more concealer. So we're just gonna do that a few times. Just, you know, load it right up there. Okay, and I get like veins right here, so I have to put concealer on that part of my face. And then I'm gonna use just like the pointed end, but there's like a hair on it. And just blend it out. It like blends so nicely and easily. Okay, so it's all blended out. I'm going to take my Rimeo London Match Perfect. It's like the loose, I don't even know if that's focusing, the Silky Loose Face Powder. And I think it's just translu translucent. Just dump some of it out on my lid and use again the sponge and just press that under my eye set it in place. I'm just gonna kind of set wherever I put the concealer. I'm gonna set my face like crazy though because I gotta be able to wear this all day. Okay, so I'm done with the loose powder and now I'm gonna use a pressed powder. So this powder is the Maybelline New York Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder. First of all, this is in the shade Classic Ivory and it's too dark for me. But it looks like this. And I'm gonna use this like, it looks like a Real Techniques brush but I'm pretty sure I just got it off eBay for like two bucks. And it's got like a little bit of a flatter top so I'm just gonna and I just set my entire face like very intensely. I get pretty oily, even though I have dry skin. I have like right now in this weather, super oily. So I've got to set it so it doesn't move. Okay, so I'm gonna take the sponge that comes in the little thing. Ooh, and I use this on my nose because my nose, like it just like, oh my foot, it, I don't even know. Like it separates. Whatever foundation I have on my nose, if I don't set it, it literally like explodes and just like goes everywhere. So I like, pack it on my nose. 
first of all, it makes your nose look flawless. Second, it doesn't move as much. And I'm going to do that right here too because I can see the concealer and foundation separating and I don't want that. Dang, this sponge does wonders. Ooh. I'm just going to do my entire face right now and then I'll do my eyes. So I'm going to take actually, the Makeup Geek Fair Skinned Bronzer. It's in Sunkissed, I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, looks like that. And my Wet n Wild Angled Brush. I don't, it doesn't have a name. It's just called Wet n Wild. That was so much powder. And just contour a little bit. Okay, and then Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is just in the shade bronzer, so it's kind of like mediumish color. My Real Techniques blush brush, and just place that where I want to look bronzed. Okay, so I'm gonna use some blush. I think I'm just gonna take this blush. I believe it's a makeup geek one. Makeup Geek Heartthrob Blush. And this one I know is pigmented, so I'm going to take my Morphe E4 brush. It's like a little angled brush, and I'm going to very lightly tap it, and then... Because I don't want, like, crazy pink cheeks. I just want a little bit of color. Like that. Awesome. Okay. And then... With some highlighter, this is again Makeup Geek in Midnight Sun. Taking my Real Techniques setting brush, I'm just going to place that on oh, my cheeks. I like to bring it onto my like cheek, like the apple of my cheek. I'm going to bring it up. But I like it on my apple of my cheek because when you smile, like, can you see that? It's like glowing. Love it. Okay, that just went a little ham there, but that's okay. What to do? I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is as zoomed in as I'm gonna get. Um, I think I'm just gonna do like a pinky, orangey, blowing out kind of look, just for fun. So I'm gonna go like pretty orange, I'm thinking. So I'm gonna take my 35-0 matte palette so, because it's got like these browns and oranges, and I'm going to use my Wet n Wild blending brush, and I'm just gonna take this is really hard to show because it's huge. Uh, these two colors here, they're pretty similar, and just put that in the crease. Just like that. I'm just gonna do one eye and then I'll just do the other one off camera. And then I'm gonna go in with ooh, this orangey kind of color. And just again put it right in the crease. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this one because it's just a little bit more orangey than that one we just used and just again building up the color this is as orange as I'm gonna make the crease and then I'm gonna kind of go down onto my little bit or into the crease more instead of like blown out with a uh, red okay so I'm just gonna leave it like that for now so I'm going to take I'm gonna stick with this whole palette probably the whole time unless I'm for when I, uh, except for when I need a shimmer. But I'm going to take this smaller blending brush. This is just an e.l.f. Blend, or, yeah, blending eye brush. So, just pretty small. And I'm going to take this top one. And then after I'm done with this one, I'm going to put that one and then that one. And just go down like that. But then I don't have to keep showing you the palette. This one I'm focusing more in the crease. And then I'm going with the second darker one. And then the third one. So 
So with this third one, I'm going to keep it more on like the outer base of my lid plus on the inner because I think I'm just going to put like a ready orange shimmer right on the middle, but I'm going to put concealer down so it's nice and bright. So now we're doing more of like a halo kind of style. So just like that, and then again, just the same one. I'm gonna go in with the first orange we use. So this one, I think that's the first one. Who knows? And just kind of blend out very lightly the edges. Hopefully it looks kind of good on camera. I think it looks pretty cool. And I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape, just put a little bit on the back of my hand, like the smallest amount, like literally that much. And taking, so this is just a little tiny Morphe brush. It's an M508. Just taking it on the brush and I'm just gonna place it like the center of my lid and I'm not doing this like super neatly I just want it to be like a decent base for this sh uh, the shimmer so basically just like that and then another Morphe palette these are my favorite palettes pretty much but this is the 35-0 shimmer so I think what I'm going to do hmm, I think I'm going to take this pinky red kind of orangey I guess rose gold I guess that's probably the best way to explain it shimmer and this uh still spa essentials eyeshadow brush it's 005 it's just like a nothing wants to focus and i'm not putting my hand behind it but just picking that up on that brush and placing it right in the center and then this brush just to blend it out i'm going to take the dark red again and just ooh, go over the sides of the shimmer super lightly and then we'll be done with that eye oh i love the way that turned out it's like super basic but it's super cute okay i'm gonna do the other eye and then i'll come back and finish the lower lash line brb okay both eyes are done for my lower lash line, I want to keep it like super close to the lower lash line. I don't want to do anything like blown out, smoky, like craziness. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of the orange colors that we used beginning on that little tiny brush and put it right on my lash line. So super basic like that. And then I'm gonna take all three of the reds and orangey colors and put that right on the outer corner. And you just wanna like attach it so it matches the upper. And then I'm gonna put it on the, oh, on the inner. And leave it like that because I'm going to put the shimmer in the center again. Just like that. And then with the shimmer color that we used on the top of the lid, we're just going to put it right in the middle. And I'm just going to take the brush that we used with the red on the top and just very lightly Try to blend any harsh edges out. I didn't add any extra product there or anything. And there. That's my crazy little eye look for the day. So I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I don't know if I want to put fake eyelashes on or not. Oh wow. I don't think I'm going to put fake eyelashes on just because I still have like one or two eyelash extensions on each eye at the moment. So I'm just going to use my iHeart Extreme Volume Mascara and it's waterproof. It's literally like $4 and it's awesome. So 
Okay, I'm really debating putting mascara on my lower lash line because I hate it usually. Oh, but I feel like it'd look better. I'm gonna just take this other waterproof one. It's just got a smaller one, so it's easier to apply. And I'm going to really try and do this super. See, and I don't like it. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Okay, I'm just gonna put another coat of mascara on my top lashes. I hate the fact that those eyelashes are still stuck on. Okay, that is the eyes complete. Um, I kind of want to add champagne pop to my cheekbone, but I want to do it like I'm gonna use my Morphe M601. It's the fan brush. This is just gonna be a lot, but it's okay. Oh my lord. Do you see that? <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so I'm going to use the Hard Candy Long Wear. It's like the Sheer Envy setting spray. It just looks like this. Okay, well, I'm going to put on ColourPop the Square. It's this, this is the Ultra Matte one. I'm not going to keep it on though because it's super thick. I didn't even hit my lip, I literally just stuck it to my tooth. That is so thick. Oh my god. I found it in my drawer and I was like, wow, I haven't worn that forever. <laughs> now I know why. Okay. So this is the finished look. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave comments below for video suggestions or if you want to see any other kind of makeup looks that don't require eyelashes because I hate putting them on, then let me know. And don't forget to subscribe. So you don't miss another video with me because I'm going to try my best to post twice a week now. Because I know I did the whole Sunday, Wednesday thing and I've been failing. So <laughs> I'm going to try to pre-film some videos. I'm going to do one more today. That one you'll see actually like tomorrow from today, I guess. So um, you'll see it before this video because this one's going up in the following week. I'm going to film a workout tomorrow, maybe two workouts tomorrow, depending on what I feel like doing. And yes, so please hit the subscribe, hit the little notification bell because I'm pretty sure you can't get notified anymore unless you hit the bell. I think because I don't see a lot of my like people that I subscribe to, I don't see their videos that often. So I've been trying to like, I go on and I click the little bell so I can see when they upload because I want to watch them. So do that if you'd like and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.